I can find angle X right now. So angle X equals to 180 degrees minus 33.1419 minus 41 degrees. And what do we have? Yes? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so what do we have when we subtract? Come on, come on, I do have a calculator. Point eight five. Okay. Uh, if give me another uh, decimal, please. Eight. eight five eight. Okay. So with this, <coughs> I can now find the length of z y by using my sine rule again. Okay. So now, should I use the variation where I have the length on top or the angle on top? Length on top. Because I want to find length. So I put length on top. So Z Y over sine 105.858 equals to then you get to choose another pair of um, side and angle. Do you want to use something that was given in a question or do you want to use something that you calculated by yourself? You use something that is given, sure, correct or right? So what is the pair that was given? 6 over sine 41 degrees. So z, y equals to something, and then you add the three lengths up, get the answer. Yes? Later, what do you see for 5 sine 41 over 6? What is the 5 sine 41 over 6? 0 point? 5, 4, blah, blah, blah. What number is this? What kind of number is this? What is the sign of the number? What is the S-I-G-N sign? Positive or negative? Positive, right? So if it is positive, how many angles should I have? Two. But I only wrote down one, right? Is there another angle? Yes. There should be, isn't it? Why didn't I consider it? Should we consider it? Should I consider it? Why not? Huh? It's already a triangle. You drew a triangle, so what? So what if you drew a triangle? But just now, we drew the triangle, then we realized that it, there are two possibilities, what? Where was it? Uh, over here. See, I drew a triangle, then there were two possibilities. Yes? Okay, wait, 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 wait. So we are saying that there is possibly another angle, right? So this is 180 degrees minus um, sine inverse blah, blah, blah. So the other answer will be how much? 146.858. Okay. So if this is the other angle, is there a problem? What is the problem? The, because the other angle given to us is 41 degrees. So if I plus 41 over here, then what's the problem? 1, 8, 7. Possible or not? Because angle, some angle sum of triangle must be 180. So more than 180 already. That is why we don't need to write all these things down. Okay? So it must be fast to know what can be removed already. Alright? So this is for the case of two, ang um, what, two sides plus one angle. Two sides plus one angle, yes. <coughs> so we have covered the two cases for sine rule. So on your textbook, page 24, you see the top part, it has your sine rule. Please put a star around it. B over sine B equals to C over sine C. Put stars. And at the bottom, there are two conditions there are two situations where you can use it. First is two angles and a side given. So the other situation is if you have two sides plus one non-included angle. Okay, which is what you just used. 
two sides plus one non-included angle. You were given five, you were given six, and you were given 41 degrees, where 41 is your non-included angle. So this is when you use your sign rule. If there is a sign rule, what do you think is the next rule that we are going to learn? Cosine rule, yes. Are you ready for cosine rule? Yes, you are.